Rosie you've heard, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today it's a new day, it is March 24th, 2020, early in the morning, well not early, it's 10, 10.30, it's sort of early for me, I guess. Uh, now for today's news. My staff, Timmy and Tommy, opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods, sure to better your island life. So yeah, they, they have their own shop now, we set that up last episode. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your items. Interesting, that's not available 24-7. Ah, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's cranny. By the way, we will be holding a special commemorative ceremony soon. As usual, stop by resident services if you'd like to participate. Oh dear, never fails. Of course, this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Is he getting a phone call? Uh, one moment, please. Oh, hello? This is Tom Nook from Nook Incorporated. Yes, what? The getaway package? Oh, we got a new villager, right? Why, yes, 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 of course. And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. I'm pretty sure there has to be a new villager calling in. Ah, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... Oh, he's talking business. <laughs> he just got himself a new customer. And that's sort of, you know, that's thanks to us. We should get some, like, kickback from that. You know what I mean? But, uh, all right, uh, <laughs> I guess not. Nook gets all the profit from that one. Anyways, maybe that means there's gonna be a new villager soon. Maybe today, maybe not, but we have some new mail and a little uh, hole in the ground over there waiting for us. Let's first open up the mail. And we have Nook Shopping. Oh yeah, so this is one of the teas we bought. And we also have Daisy May. Dear Stripe folks, I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips, just the way my grandma used to. Be seeing you, Daisy May. Oh cool, so we'll have to play on a Sunday morning. I don't typically play games on Sundays too much, but uh, I'll have to. <laughs> Change it up a little bit just for that. Um, let's go ahead and boop, get a fossil. Look, I dug up a fossil. Awesome, so that's our first fossil today. That's the, sort of the thing we gotta start out with, right? Is running around the neighborhood, trying to make sure if there's anything new like the fossils. Look at our trees growing in too. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, any kind of thing that we can maybe pick up. That might just be new, laying around, all that kind of stuff. Don't know if they'll be all that much different. Oh, here it is though, Nook's Cranny. Let's go ahead and check it out. So apparently, yeah, I think to the left there, there was a drop-off box. So that'll be cool if we aren't like ready for it, we can still do that. Oh hey, it's a little porcupine guy. I don't know his name. I was worried when I heard you are all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice. Even though we haven't been here all that long, in just a short time, Blathers has moved in and we were able to open up this shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on you all and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help everywhere, wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Oh, hey, I think. Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having this shop would ha make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but we still need clothing a clothing supplier. Aha! Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about I, if I stop by every so often to sell you some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed! Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. Suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do that, do that. <laughs> we can't wait to see you here again. So it looks like Mabel's gonna be selling some goods here, even if she's not living. Here, she's a porcupine. Hi. Oh, Zebra, sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting. <laughs> Thanks for your, to your help, we've opened up the amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor of a, a shop our beloved president Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous, miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all of your shopping needs. All right, awesome. So can we just talk to you? Hmm, there was something else, all right. 
With our new shop come, come three new services. First, let's talk turnips. I've heard that the turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on, on hand. Uh, the price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. Like as in like the actual vegetable turnips. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. Oh, is that the person we just got the mail from? The second new service involves a hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day. If you bring one in to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. You can check the hot item of the day on the sign in the front of the shop or by asking us directly. And the last new service we're offering in is the drop-off box. You can find it in front of the shop. Say, you're in a hurry, or say, say, say you're in a hurry, or the shop is closed, you can just drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account, and I should mention a few things. There is a handling fee, and we don't accept turnips, and hot items will sell just for the regular price. And I think that wraps it up. Sorry about that, the ex that explanation went on for a bit. How can I help? So, turnip prices? The current price for turnips is 74 bells per turnip. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Uh, what's hot today? The high value item of the day is the wooden table mirror. We pay twice the usual amount for hot items, so go ahead and bring them in. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Uh, that's gonna be it. Because I could sell, I don't think I have anything to sell at the moment. Understood. Please let me know if you need help with anything else. So they'll just follow us around always shop. That's so cute. Oh, look at this little cat tower. Seems like you're interested in the cat tower. Those are in limited supply, so act fast if you're serious. Let's see. That's 3,000 bells. What do you think? I'll pass. But it is cool to see. We already have the little cat pet. We don't even have a cat. We have all this different cat stuff. I love it. Uh, and there's a nice little TV dinner tray table. Seems like you're interested in the vintage TV tray. Uh, these are limited supply, so act fast if you're serious. 1,200 bells, pretty expensive. I don't think I need it though. And what about this stuff? Uh, so just get interested in metal can. 600 bells, I don't even know really what it's a metal can for. I guess whatever I want. And this looks like a little ironing board for clothes. So just get interested in ironing set. 820 bells. So I don't think I need any of this, but it is interesting to see it. That's for sure. And anything else we can do around here? Oh yeah, here, look at this. Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have in today. So it looks like some more of the other stuff. Oh, look at this umbrella, the toad parasol. Cool. And also a party popper, some different flowers. It looks like they have extended their like amount available. Green wrapping paper, oh that's cool. DIY for beginners, test your DIY skills. What is that about? I don't know. Um, and then flimsy axe, flimsy shovel, we have all that. But I don't know what the, Test your DIY skills is. It's a digital DIY recipe book. Let's see. What is this? This test your DIY skills contains recipes that require an interesting variety of materials. I'll send you the recipe data to your app immediately if you decide to make the purchase. Let's see, that's 2,680 bells, what do you think? You know what, sure. We'll, we'll see what different DIY stuff will be in there. Excellent purchase. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, time to send the recipes from, our, from test your DIY skills to your phone. I wonder if we get to change the uh, the case on our phone. That'd be cool. And we're done. Hope you enjoy your DIY even more now with your new recipes. That'll be cool. Anything else look interesting? What's weird is that we can purchase it again. I don't understand what the purpose of that is. And there's also different wallpaper and flooring. I don't see anything that's a must have to me here, but definitely we'll keep checking in on this every once in a while and see if there's anything more I want. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> So I guess that's our look at Nook Cranny. Uh, we should be able to stop in here every day for new uh, items that we could potentially buy. So definitely need to do that. Hopefully we find some cool stuff. But for right now, I do wanna chop down this tree. It's sorta of kind of in the way with where it is. So let's just, one, two, three. Excellent. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> didn't wanna do that. But also, I do wanna put on our new shirt. So yeah, Anyang T, open. And where? Looking good. Was it a different color before? I can't remember. Hmm, weird. I feel like it was, but maybe not. Anyways, uh, we need the shovel so that we can dig up this stool. Perfect. And we'll grab this wood, because you never know. And also, yeah, this should tell us like what the double item is. 
uh, wooden table mirror, which we already knew, but I just wanted to make extra sure. Yeah, this is our money tree, slowly but surely growing in. Super excited about that. So I'm mostly just looking for like fossils and stuff right now. Oh, there's another little ladybug over this way. We haven't sold a ladybug yet, so you know what? I might as well grab this and see if it sells for anything. Got it, nice, that actually wasn't too bad. And I do see a little hole over there, I caught a ladybug. So back over to the shovel. We will dig this up and fossil number two. So it looks like we could probably expect three to four different fossils. Oh, here we go again. Ready, whoop. So we're gonna get another money tree. Look, I dug up a thousand bells. Oh wait, no, no, wait, that's not what I meant to do. Whoops, okay, never mind. No money bell for, or money tree for us. Uh, that's a shame. We might as well just put it away then. Extra thousand bells, won't hurt. So nobody's put anything on the bulletin board. Oh, let's go and check in the tent now, because I don't know what's what else is really going on in here. Bit of a curious situation. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're still on the phone. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to drop the proper contracts. Understood. We will, we will get back to you very soon, thank you. Oh, he's got a little coughing thing there now, in the back corner. Zebra, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Stripe getaway package. And when you know, out of, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. You're welcome. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful, thank you, thank you. Er, wonderful except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing the fur all the furnishings, it's just too much for one raccoon. Well, I can help. You know, for a fee. <laughs> but Zebra, here you are in my hour of need. It most, it most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get those homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I will give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. So you're saying all you can pay me is, is a thank you? Uh, I guess. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I would like to actually hear more from you. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Let's hold a ceremony. Didn't we want to do that to celebrate? Yeah. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Zebra? We're celebrating so many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. What ceremony do you want to take part in? For Nook's Cranny for the museum. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Let's do for Nook's Cranny. Splendid. Let's get started. Yeah, I want to do a little ceremony. This sounds like fun. Oh, <laughs> we're all together. Now then. Welcome to our dedicated dedication ceremony honoring Stripe's brand new Nook's Cranny. Yay! Thank you. Stripe truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it, it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. I'd like to ask Timmy and Tom, Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the new Nook's Cranny. Timmy, Tommy, if you would please. Thank you, Stripe. Because of you, we've opened the, a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. Yay! <laughs> They're the two cutest shop owners ever. Yes, yes, thank you both. Now, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook Cranny's, Nook's Cranny built. Of course, I mean Zebra, our resident representative. Anything to add? Good for us, we're Woo! Yeah, <laughs> very astute. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Zebra. Everyone, please get ready to, to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the share button. <laughs> oh, the little poppers. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth to, and to celebrate Stripe's beautiful Nook's Cranny. Hooray! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I like it. Oh, we should do the, the, the museum one now too. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home.
Or you can hang out because we're about to do another ceremony. I want to do the museum one now too. But it's really cool that we can do those, you know, just to celebrate everything. So let's head back in. And once again, we'll talk to him, we'll set up the other ceremony, if it'll let me. I don't see why I want it, but. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Let's hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Zebra? Or no, we'd like to celebrate the grand opening of our museum. Interested? I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. So yeah, two, two ceremonies in one day. How wonderful is that? Blathers better be out for this one. Yes, he is. Okay, good. But Timmy and Tommy aren't. Now then. Welcome to our dedicated ceremony honoring Stripe's brand new museum. Yay! I like how Bothers doesn't actually clap. He just sort of flaps his wings. Uh, thank you. Stripe truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now, it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone, really. And now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers. <laughs> really emphasizing the few because he can blath on. Uh, who'll be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of Stripe, once again, I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed and indeed overjoyed by the marvelous establishment we are opening here today. Whew, this could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire us all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. <laughs> Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Now let's have a few words from someone whose contributions made the museum possible. I'm talking about Zebra, our resident representative. Anything to add? Woo! That's all I say. <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Zebra. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a camera to photo should get ready to press the share button. All right, so once again, yes, well then. We hope for your continued growth and to celebrate Stripe's beautiful museum. Hooray! So there we go, two celebrations done. But we are not finished for today. We still have to talk to them about what we wanna do. Thank you all, this concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. But yeah, you know, things are turning out really well. Each episode, our island becomes a slight bit more developed. And now we get to talk to Nook on how we can further develop it, further prepare the uh, whole island for more villagers to move in. I imagine we need to set up bridges uh, across the rivers a little bit at this point. Hello. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. So, what should I do? Oh, so you're ready, you're already ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get housing plots during construction, hmm? So, that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base, get your DIY skills ready, and then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. All right. And done, I've just sent you a recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check it in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, but we can talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck, Zebra. Well, thank you very much. So if we take a look now, nope, wrong place. Uh, we have our DIY stuff. We have a couple of new things. Here's our bridge construction kit. So it's a very basic like wooden bridge. But we also have mini DIY workbench, Wooden, this is the stuff we bought from Nook's Cranny earlier. Wooden block chair, wooden block bookshelf, wooden block stereo, interesting. Rocking chair, swinging bench, ring toss. Oh, I like that one. Pond stone and potted ivy. So this is what we're mostly focused on. Um, it needs log stakes, which we can make, I think, down here. Yep, we can make some with wood. Um, on top of that, we need clay and stone, which we do have some, we just gotta go and get it. Also, there's some Nook Mile stuff we can worry about, apparently. Where? Uh, I don't know. Weird. It said as if there was one and now there's not. Anyways, uh, we should probably get our fossils assessed, sell a hot item for a fortune, maybe we'll do that. Um, sell clumps of weed, so we got some stuff. I guess maybe it was just telling me there's a new set of things. Earn bells by selling items and chop wood. So we'll be working on all of that for right now. 
I like how he has his little golf bag in the background too. He, he just likes golfing, that's cute. I would love an Animal Crossing golfing game. I thought that would actually be pretty awesome. Anyways, what else is going on around here? We're looking for the extra stone. Yeah, there's two of them, one, one on each side of Biff's house, and these should give us extra rocks, hopefully some other stuff as well. But see how I'm mostly looking for rocks and clay. If it can give me more of that, I won't complain. Lots of stuff in this one. Okay, that's gonna be it. So we'll grab all of that. And we're hoping to find one more fossil along the way. Okay, let's grab this first. Yo, Zebra, hey, Biff! How are things going? So, do you know about reactions? I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own like I'm doing right now? Okay, that was kind of weird. But that's reactions for you. They're all about getting emotions across. Want to try reactions for yourself? Just hit ZR. Do enough and bam, there's your stretches for the day. I'm gonna tell everyone to show you their favorite reactions too, so be sure to ask around, Squirt. Okay, wow, look at this. I can use reactions now. These gestures will help me express my feelings. Thank you so much, Biff, I appreciate it. Ah, sorry, can I talk to you? What do you need, Squirt? Let's chat. Word is Town Nook scouted you for his fine stripes and new faces team, solid draft. The more neighbors we have, the more muscle mass we can all build. That's science, Squirt. <laughs> ah, you're the best. Anyways, we're gonna dig this stuff up a little bit. We're definitely getting more rocks. I like how it's now showering me in iron nuggets as well, but I was so much so struggling for them before. Anyways, we're getting there. That's the most important part. Oh, and there is a little shovelable spot right over this way, hopefully another fossil. And indeed it is, we already have the three we need to assess for the daily challenge, or the Nook Plus Miles challenge, I guess. It's not really daily, because something will replace it. Uh, Anyways, we also need to get more wood, both for the, the challenge and for just having to do it. So let's get that. There'll be another three over, oh wait, no, there goes the ax. Darn. Oh no, I guess it's that's it for my stone ax. We'll have to buy a replacement then. Uh, in the meantime, if I could pick this up and we could switch over to, where's my pole? Why is this not favorited? Uh, I don't know. What's favorited? No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, well, we'll have to figure that out later. For right now, I'm just doing this. I wanna get across to here. Because our ax might be used up, but our shovel is not yet. So that's what we just gotta focus on. I'm just gonna be looking around. Oh, there's another, I forgot there was another rock over here. We do have more shovels though, so. Don't have to worry too much about using that up. I think we have like two more shovels in our inventory, so one. Oh, that got me some coins. It still is, too. Is this just gonna be a straight up money rock? Whoa! Oh, it makes the one-up noise from Mario. Oh, that's awesome. That's, what, 3,000 bells right there? And then a couple extra here, because these give 100. Wow. Is that like 3,000, 300, 3,400, something like that? That's awesome. Very, very good. Whoa, Gulliver's back. <laughs> hey, buddy, you all right? Uh, no, you walk the plank, Ahab. Think you're so smart. Come on, wake you up. The waves, the waves are ugh, ready the pool noodles. So we, we've seen him before. Ava, storms are coming, brace yourselves, lads. Hard to starboard. Tough to port, stern to stern. Come on. Is he just gonna keep talking? He has to wake up at some point. Oh, there he goes, okay. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. Uh, 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 uh. Who, what, where, and I'll throw in when, what and why, no extra charge. I love him so much. You there, what's with the rude awakening, huh? Don't you know who you're dealing with? Oh, it's you, Zebra. That's different then, I'm slightly less annoyed. Hmm? What was that verily stuff about? Not sure, I think I heard a fish say it once. <laughs> anyway, I guess I must have fallen overboard and washed up on this beach. It happens. Don't worry about me. Getting rescued is gonna be a breeze. Can't you fly? <laughs> I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts too. 
That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. So yeah, uh, seems like he's saying the same things. So we'll look for his communicator parts. So yeah, five communicator parts. We'll find them as we're traveling around the beach. And hopefully, we'll find all of them, no problem. But yeah, it's funny that he can just show up again and need the same amount of help he always does. But we're just looking for little uh, spurts on the on the beach, like this one, and this one might be a bit, ah, oh, come on, too far out. Yeah, we have to sort of head closer to him, I think. But that's a manila clam, Th those will be useful eventually, I'm sure. Because they can be used for bait. I haven't really used that too much, but I will sooner or later. See, now that we're a little bit closer, just keep an eye out for any kind of little things on the beach, maybe more down this way. And if I just stand here, I'm sure more will start popping up, but, because I probably don't want to go any farther than that. Actually, not really any are showing up at all. Oh, here's one. This might still be, nope, it's not too far. So there we go, uh, we found our first communicator part. Cover that back up, and we'll keep moving. And like, I wouldn't imagine it would be this far down, you know? That seems a little crazy. So, we'll turn back around and see if he is anywhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, come on. Where was that? I was right. No? Nope, it's just another clam. Oh boy. But then there's another one popping up over this way quickly. There we go. Part two of five. So, we got plenty more of those left to find. No, come on. <laughs> Using the shovel's apparently really tough for me. So, back over this way. I'm also trying to listen out for it because I do make like a pretty distinct sound. But you just wanna have to go up and down, up and down until you find them. Oh, you know what I hear? Where is it? Well, that's not what I wanted. Uh. Well, actually, it might be a good idea. Where is my slingshot? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm like unequipping all my stuff. Favorite. Uh, right down this way. I hear it though. Where could it be? Oh, here we go. Oh, I gotta be quick about this. Quick about this. Because if not, it's gonna fly away. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, I got it. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> I didn't want to miss out on it. So what did we get out of that present? Uh, open. Striped dress, fancy. Well, check it out. <laughs> I don't plan on wearing it, but it does match our hat pretty well. If it was just a different color. All right. Well, let's put our pants back on. How about that? So I don't know if I'll be using that too much. So maybe we'll we'll get to see how much clothing really sells for. Because I feel like we haven't really experienced that too much. So I decided I'm gonna come back to him. We found two of the pieces. We need to find three more, and I will. I just wanna actually get some other stuff done first. Maybe we'll just hang by him and start fishing while we're waiting for more of the pieces to show up. That might just be the most beneficial way to do it. Um, in the meantime, we gotta get across to this other side, just like that, and see what else is going on. Uh, still no other digging spots. I'd imagine there'd probably be one more around somewhere, hopefully in a place we can reach. We'll have to wait and see. There's more fish in the water, that's cool and everything, but don't really care too much right now. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is one of the, the two of the trees we've actually planted. One of those should be a cherry tree, I think. Because we also planted a coconut tree. Probably should have done that closer to the beach though. I think I did that just like on the green grass. So it looks like that's about everything, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's all we got. That's fine. Three fossil spots is still pretty good. I'll gladly, you know, assess those. Hopefully they are new so we can donate them. All right, ooh, ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Zebra. Welcome to the Stripe Museum. How may I be of service? Assess fossils. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. So we have one, two, and three. Here you go. So, uh, let's go ahead. I guess, I think you just said that. None of these were donated before. So we'll just go ahead and offer them all up. Ready, make a donation. So yeah, our three things. We've got the Stego tail, 
the Parasaur tail, and the Off Ophthalmo skull. skull. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister. There we go, three more donations. Very exciting. Several things I see. Let's take a look. So with that done, I might wanna go back to the house real quick and reorganize my uh, inventory. And then after that, we should be just about good with going back over to uh, Gulliver, doing some fishing while we're waiting around for more stuff to pop up. But also, uh, we got one of these to claim. Right over this way, get miles, 150. And what new thing is gonna pop up? Catch a sea bass, actually shouldn't be that, that difficult at all, so awesome. Okay, so I organized my inventory and now I'm good to sell a couple of items to, of course, Timmy and Tommy. Actually, I should have gotten more weeds because I do need to donate those soon. Uh, we'll do that later then. <laughs> but hey, uh, for right now, we do have some things to sell. I want to buy a replacement ax as well. Maybe an a extra uh, fishing rod would be good. But let's talk to you guys. Welcome, welcome. What do you need today? I need to sell. I am so happy we finally got like an organized shop though. So the manila clam, coconuts, striped dress, ladybug, and faux shirling coat. Go ahead and donate, or not donate, but sell all those. Definitely not donating. Uh, 3,120, actually pretty good. We're over 20,000 bells now, um, and we'll try to get closer and closer because I think we need about 40 something thousand to pay off our total debt, so that'll be awesome. On top of that, we got some nook miles now. Uh, reaction ruler. Uh, you learned a reaction. Let's celebrate the moments, uh, this moment, momentous occasion with Nook Miles, hmm? Reactions help you express yourself, so it's a good idea to learn them. So I guess we'll learn more reactions soon. Yeah, what was our reaction this time? I didn't even see. Uh, but if we press this, oh, you can see joy. Yeah, and people do it around me too. We're spreading our joy. We got delight. Ah, uh, we also have greetings. Hello. And then finally, we have surprise. Whoa, awesome. Um, so we wanted to, well actually, I don't know. We'll find out. Can we buy replacements here? Yes, we can. So we'll buy a replacement ax, flimsy ax. I'll buy it. And that's gonna be it for now. Uh, I will have to like spruce up our gear again soon. Uh, that might be something I do a little bit more next episode, but I just wanna buy some more higher end gear again. Uh, since we do have a lot more iron nuggets coming in, I should just be able to do that no problem. Did I ever hit that one stone that was uh, on the other side of the river? I think I did, but I can't quite remember. Anyways, with our flimsy axe we just got, I can go one, two, and three, and that should be the other nook miles done. And it is, so very nice. But now that we have some extra inventory space, what I wanna do with that is I mostly wanna go fishing, but I also will pick up some of this stuff so that we can sell it on our way back. But we're going to fish near Gulliver until basically more of his stuff starts popping up. And then maybe by the end of today's episode, we'll be able to finish it off by uh, building a bridge somewhere. That'll be nice. Anyways, just trying to grab this whole patch of it. Perfect. Because what are we at right now? 19, so if we grab one more, that's all I need for the daily quest. So we can leave it like that, go to our Nook Miles. Uh, clear this out because you never know what we might get in replacement. We get, might get like catch five more fish. Uh, grow fruit trees, we'll do that soon then. Uh, yeah, okay. We only need a little less than 2,000 more bells there for that one as well. So we're chipping through it. Oh, hey, he's fishing. Do you mind if I interrupt you? Ugh, I can't catch anything. Gotta keep at it, buddy. You'll get there. So. Let's vault over this way, scare away all the fish in the process, right? Oh, there was a place to dig up over here. Okay, is this gonna be another um, thing? Another fossil? Yes, it is. So I was right, there usually are about four fossil spots that pop up each day. Oh, and there goes our shovel. Luckily, we have one more. Actually, we have two more. I've purchased too many flimsy shovels. So just put that there. And I also want to reorganize this a bit. Just like that. So, re equip that. Dig this up. And then finally, have I done this? Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It was the money one. It gave me a bunch of cash. So, I guess in the meantime, while we're waiting for things to sp sort of spurt up. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it might be a bit of a pain to turn around pull up a shovel and do all that, but it's worth it. So there we go, I found a communicator part. And we just gotta pay attention for that whenever it pops up. 
But in the meantime, we got a fish. This is a pretty big fish too. It might be a sea bass already. Ooh, there we go. Come on, come on. We caught some pretty wild fish last episode. It is going to be a olive flounder. Okay, so let's keep looking for fish while we're hoping more stuff pops up. Cause I only need to find two more communicator parts. You wouldn't think that'd be that bad. You never know though. Come on, you can do it. You have to really back up for that one. Oh wow, we get another uh, red snapper. We don't get these too often, so that's awesome. Another fish over this way. Whoop. It's a little one too. Don't know what it's gonna be. It'll be another yellow perch or a mackerel. They sort of look similar. <laughs> yeah, I think the yellow perch is a, is a river fish. Hmm. So back down here. Look at this. Another fish. And we got his attention right away. I think I might have heard one of the water spurts to the left. But I'm not really sure. Whoa, okay, it's a squid. <laughs> Gulliver is very impressed. Unfortunately, I don't see any. Okay, well, in the meantime, yet another fish that is an awful angle. That might be a little bit better. Oh, we turned at the last moment. Come on now. Won't be another squid. It'll be another horse mackerel. Oh, and there goes our fishing rod. Did I not buy another one? I really should have. I really, really should have. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go, here we go. Please let this be one because I just really need to get through this. Yes! All right, so I just need one more communicator part. Is it really gonna be that bad? Am I really gonna have to keep searching and searching for it? It seems like the more I move around, the more they pop up, but even then they can be a bit of a pain. Oh, come on. I really hope this is the last one. Yes, it is! Okay, communicator part number five. That's all we needed. So I'll go ahead and fix these up. Boom, pick that up, and we're good to go. All right, buddy, I got your stuff. So hopefully he'll leave us something nice in the mail. Hey, did you find him? Got him right here. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Give me a little troublemakers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew, it's me, your brother from another rudder. So he says all the same things he said before. Uh, well, good luck with everything. You're the best, thanks for all of your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you wear flippers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. Well, thank you so much for being here again, even if it wasn't intentional. Oh, hey, look at this. We got another one. Got it. What will this one have for us? I think I saw a butterfly up there that we'd never seen before. Really can't wait until we get up there. Uh, for right now, present, or not present, pre present, metronome. Oh, is this like an instrument? Ah, oh, well, I don't, no. I don't know if these are for, in I think maybe these are used to keep pace. I don't really know how they are working, but it's cool. I don't know if I'll have too much of a use for that. Well, we'll take it out in our home so you can get a better look at it. But we'll do that later. For right now, we gotta go back to the Nook's Crowning and sell a couple of things while we still have time. I say that, I mean, we have plenty of time until they close. Yeah, it, The Nook's Crowning is like sort of the most nostalgic thing because it looks just like it did in some of the previous games. So let's sell to you two. I wanna sell. So we are offering a bunch of fish and some clumps of weed. Got it. That should definitely be more than 2,000, right? 6,630, wow, very nice. So that should be yeah, the other one done because uh, we only needed to sell about 2,000 more stuff or 2,000 bells worth of stuff. We also get some for selling the weeds. So overall pretty good. And we have some other stuff coming in. So what about this? Uh, 
sell hot item for a fortune, uh, catch fish, grow fruit trees, complete DIY projects. I think some of these we'll save for next episode then because I need to uh, make a couple of, of the higher end objects and catch a sea bass. We didn't do, unfortunately. Uh, but I think most of that will leave for another episode, like I said. Had a lot of fun today, though, for sure, with the Nook's Cranny and everything. Um, so I don't know what else we wanna do. Probably just assess this fossil and be finished up for today. And we also learned reactions and everything, so I think it was a good episode, lots, lots finished. I think, actually, the one thing I do wanna do, if we can finish up at least one bridge part somewhere, that would be good. That way we just have more progress to make in the upcoming episodes. Uh, for right now, though, hey, Blathers. I have another fossil for you to assess. Assess fossils. Uh, this one right here. And I think you should tell us what it is right away. Ooh. An ammonite. Oh, we already have the superb indeed splendid, a rare fossil. No, we don't have it. We do not have yet in our collection. This ammonite is a very is just a kind of discovery we want to showcase in the museum. Yes, I will donate it. Hoot, how wonderful. I'll have this to your collection with utmost haste. And will you tell me anything about it? Yes, please tell me about the ammonite. Wonderful, it is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ammonites were creatures that lived before and all the way through the age of the dinosaurs. Because different species have lived at different times, their shells are sometimes used as index fossils. In other words, these creatures act as markers in time, helping to identify the age of other formations. Who knows what other secrets lie hidden in those spiral shells? And you can actually see that's sort of what's represented in the basic uh, fossil image there. It's a little spiral. Um, that's what an ammonite is, I guess, yeah. And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. All right, is there anything else I can help you with? That is going to be it. Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. Well, that sort of concludes my visit, but I'm glad we got one extra thing for the museum. If we keep at this daily rate of donating four things a day, who knows how quickly we'll be able to finish up the museum. I'm sure like duplicates will show up sooner or later, but then we'll be able to make a lot of money on those duplicates, so that's awesome. So yeah, with that being said, uh, let's try to look at our DIY recipe again. We need log stakes, clay, and stone. Basically as many of those as I can manage. And for the log stakes, they're over this way, we need a lot of wood. So wood, clay, stone. Those are the three things we're trying to get a lot of. So let's do exactly just that. First, I'll put everything I have away right now into my storage, except for the one shell I forgot to sell. Whoops, okay. Let's keep that there for now. Luckily with our current inventory space, things work out just fine. So inventory, you can see things stack up to 30 it seems. So I'll move that to my pockets, move this to my pockets, and move this stuff as well. Okay, so I don't know how much that's going to make, but we only need one bridge. I mean, we could make two just for convenience sake. Or maybe even just a couple just to put around. I'll, I think that three would probably be a good number. Because if I take a look at the, no, wrong button. Keep playing. Uh, if I take a look at the map, I probably want to put one, I wish I could like put a cursor on the map but probably one right by my house, and then another one to the river to the right, and maybe that would be it. Maybe one more with the other cross section. That might be good. Okay, so let's go over to the DIY section, because how many of the stakes do I need for one bridge? I think three, so if I want to make three bridges, I'll need nine in total, but we'll find out. Yep, let's craft something. So, first go up this way. I need four, so I would need to make 12 in total. Yeah, I should be able, to, well actually, I don't know. I would not be able to make 12 in total because that would be 36. So I, I'm just going to make, not that. <laughs> Anyways, it does take a while to make a bunch of these, as you can see. Keep crafting, I just have to do that a bunch of times. There's no way to make like multiples? Huh, weird. See, I, I literally just have to sit here and do that. Well, if I want to do it, because like, like like I said, um, that's our second one right there. We need three of them, or four of them just for one. So we want to make eight in total. So I'm going to do that real fast, and then I'll be right back. 
So I crafted, I think, eight of the wooden stakes. If I go over this way, I have seven. So no, I didn't. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was easy to lose count. So one more time. Awesome. It really is just something they should be able to let you set a number for. That's like a really silly thing to overlook. But anyways, we should be able to make two of these now. Yep, that'll be good. Bridge construction kit. <laughs> just built them super quick. I made a bridge construction kit. Keep crafting. Ready and, well, no. Wait, can I not make more than one? Oh. Oh, I see. That's weird. Uh. Complete DIY projects, well at least I've done that. But I'm a little concerned and confused. Did I just like waste a bunch of wood on stakes? I mean only four, so I guess I could use them for something else, I don't know. But let's just try that out, because one of them I wanted to make right over this way. I think that over here would be a nice spot for it. Yeah, just right where he's fishing. Uh, so bridge construction kit, build here. Should I reserve the spot for a log bridge? Let's imagine it. Yeah, that looks pretty fancy. Is this a good spot? Okay. Well, there we go. I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. <laughs> I like that. So yeah, we'll have to see how that pops up in the, in the next episode, the next day. That'll be cool. I wonder what uh, Tom Nook has to say about that. If he gives us a new job, we won't quite do it right now, but I'm at least curious to see. If he has anything interesting to input about it. Hey, buddy. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy our bridge construction kit? I set it up. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow, we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want, or you can ask me what should I do, whenever, hmm? I'll wait for the bridge construction to finish. I don't know what kind of materials we're gonna need for new homes, but that does sound probably pretty intense. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.